Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Bond. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to six, and the general manager of Dan Cummins, the Chevrolet Buick in Paris, Kentucky, the second largest used car franchise dealer in the United States of America. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Grind, 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 grind. That's kind of what like pops through my head. <laughs> when I get to the end of that every single time, it's like, I hope you are ready to rise and grind. And then in my head, it's like, grind, 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 grind. You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel me? What's up, man? It is, what day of the week is it? <laughs> I know it's May 2nd. It is Wednesday. That's right. Hump day. It is Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. Can you believe this already? We're almost halfway through this stinking year. It has been beautiful outside, and I am excited about what's going on today. I'm excited about some of the things we're going to touch on today, some of the things I'm going to share today. I've got some incredible stories for you, some some stories and some impact that you guys have had on people's lives that people have been sharing with me. I'm going to share a little bit of that with you today. Also, we're going to talk about creating a movement, building a brand, things that you can do as far as individually and within your companies. I'm going to tell you some secrets, some different things that we've done at Dan Cummins Chevrolet and Buick that you can apply in your life. It's going to be an awesome show. Before we get into all of that, I have, if you didn't see it at the very top, okay, over here on the right of your screen where everybody's putting in the comments, which by the way, we're always facing the Facebook bot, so make sure you pop in and say good morning. If I see you in there, I'll try my best to say good morning back. But if you look in there, when you first popped in at the very, very top, there's a thing that says, do you want to follow or be notified every time Glenn Lundy goes live? So make sure you click on that this morning. We're getting ready to do some chair dancing, listen to some music. So go ahead and click on that. Make sure you get the notifications when I go live. And and then, while we're doing our dancing, while we're getting ready for what's about to be the most amazing stinking day, I saw Carrie Lynn Carter just popped in here, my fellow ketone girl. But while we're getting ready for this amazing day, would you hit that share button? Hit that share button. Let's get everybody up in here today because everybody needs a little hashtag rise and grind in their life. Just ask Mickey Lockhart. Good morning, Mickey. How are you? Just ask my boy, Jeffrey Lee Parton. Good morning, Mr. Jeffrey Lee Parton. How are you, sir? I'm going to see you next weekend. Good morning, Charlie, Mikhail, and Samuel Tatum. Malcolm, Thomas, rising and grinding. Gosh, that makes me happy to see you up in here, my man. Rising and grinding, bouncing back like a phoenix, rising from the ashes. That's my boy. Stephanie Toadvine, good morning. Bambi Campbell, what's up? Josh, oh, good morning. Ray Hatcher, Rick Berman, Sean Jones, and my man, Darian Sanders. What's up, what's up, what's up? Y'all feeling it? Y'all starting to feel it? Starting to feel the music kind of pop through you, right? I know my boy Scott Simons right now. He's out there crossfitting. He's feeling it. Scott, I'm going to deliver some fire for you today. Some ways that you can help continue to grow your organization. Ways that you're already applying a bunch of them, I know. But little fresh reminders on this Wednesday morning. Prince Sinsuit, good morning. Gail B. Craft and Michael Jameson. Patrick Booth, my cousin. Jerry Augustine, what's up? Harry Anthony, my man. Good morning, sir. Susan Rose, Matt Blackwell, Mary Beattie, Carrie Osborne. Y'all are all up in here today. Hit the share button. Get the people in here. And let's get this thing rolling on Wednesday, May 2nd, 2000. 18. It's going to be an incredible, incredible day. All right, cool. Y'all jacked? I'm jacked. Can you tell I'm jacked? I hope you can tell. If you can't tell, you're probably dead. Something wrong with you if you can't tell. Good morning, dude. Check it out. First, I want to touch on yesterday. Before I go too deep into anything, I have to talk about yesterday because yesterday was one of those incredible days. What's up, George Perez? Good to see you. Yesterday was one of those absolutely incredible days. You see, yesterday I got up and I felt good first thing in the morning, right? It's May 1, fresh start. I'm like, cool, we're going we're gonna to rise and grind. It's going to be a great month. 
so I sit down, I write my gratitude, I write my goals, I write out my show, and I'm like, dang, today's show, it's going to run long, but today's show is going to be, today's show is going to be fire, and let me tell you guys, man, sometimes when you do a show like this, sometimes when you're on here five days a week, live, five days a week, right, 5.30 a.m., sometimes, you know, sometimes you get in your head you're a little bit, you're like, man, is it, you know, is it really, really worth it? Is it really making an impact? Do I just feel or think it's making an impact? Or, or you know, what is, is, is it real? Is this real? Is it really God's will? Is it really what God wants? You know, sometimes you question things. Is the content truly valuable? You start to question yourself, you know? Like all those things kind of get in the head every once in a while. And yesterday morning I was like, nah, man, this is fire. Rise and grind is the bomb. What we've built, this movement of 23,000 people that have come together at this point is powerful. The impact that it's having on my life is powerful and people around me. So that's, I was like, I'm going to deliver a powerful show. And I did. I felt like, I, I felt like yesterday was a great show. It was huge. We talked about some things that we never talked about, right? And then check this out, man. I started getting some powerful messages back. From you guys yesterday, like it just came in floods yesterday. The the fuel that you guys gave me, the fuel that's that's got me fired up today, it came from you guys. Listen, one guy, Dave, my man Dave Moore, he sent me this. Hello, Mr. Lundy. My name is Dave Moore. I've been promoted to the title of GSM at a Chevy store in St. Louis. I just wanted to say thank you. One of my sales specialists brought a video from you to me, and the change I needed to make in myself was abundantly clear. I am 40 years old and have 19 years of automotive industry under my belt from used cars to finance, and now now this new challenge. Thanks again for helping me realize that change can be and will be good. That's one of the messages I got yesterday. And Dave, I apologize if you didn't want me to share it, but I needed to share it because it was powerful to me because I'm 40 years old and you're 40 years old and change is powerful and it can be good. Not just good, it can be great and it can make lifelong impacts on the planet. I had we had we had Beth Workman who was posting how she crushed her goals. She crushed them in April because she was rising and grinding. We had people posting that they had set goals in May to 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 drop 60 pounds because they were rising and grinding. I got messages from people that said they hadn't been rising and grinding for a while. They were watching when we first started, but they hadn't been watching in a while, and they noticed that their life was starting to change and was kind of dropping off back in the bad way. So now they were back in the rise and grind, and it was making an impact on the planet. So I kept getting messages like that yesterday, and it was just, it was crazy, man. And then I had, like, new people saying, hey, this is our first time to the group. This was my first time, and that was fire, man. That was a great message. Thank you so much. That was exactly what I needed to hear. Then at work, I'm at work. I'm sitting there talking to uh, a potential employee and, and somebody else, and a woman comes up, and she, like, grabs my arm, and she's like, hey, you don't know me, but I know you. And, and I watch Rise and Grind, and I just want you to know that I've been dealing with a lot of stuff in my life and ever since I started watching your show and ever since I became a part of this group and all the positivity and all the comment and people sharing the videos and inserting those into my world has made an incredible impact on me and my family and I want to just say thank you and she cried tears of joy because she's a part of Rise and Grind. All that happened yesterday, man, and it was just incredibly powerful for me. It was the fuel that I needed, but it was a nice little reminder of something I read in the Bible once. Because in the Bible, God says when two or more come together in God's name, that God is there with them, and he will lift them up. And here's the thing. As individuals, we are strong. As individuals, we are powerful. But when we come together... We can change the world. When we come together, we can make impact on the next generation and generations after that. When we come together, we can encourage and lift each other up. When we come together, God gets in the middle of it. Remember that episode? Hashtag insert God. And when God gets into the middle of it, that's when the crazy stuff starts happening. 
that's when the crazy stuff starts happening. So listen, man, I get the benefit. I, I get to be the face of the group. And as the face of the group, it's such a benefit. I'm, it's so rewarding. But I want to personally take a minute to thank you. I want to thank AJ and Jeff and Ray and Sheila and Teresa and, and uh, Scott and Sean and Jason and all of you guys and Troy and Tom and, and everybody. I want to thank you guys. For your posts. I want to thank you for your positivity. I want to thank you for your comment. I want to thank you for this group. I want to thank you for making an impact on people's lives. And with that said, I will continue to ask you to do more of it. Keep posting. Keep sharing. Hit the share button. Get people in here. Keep inviting people to the group because it matters. It matters, dude. I'm just telling you this morning, you matter. It's crazy. Now, listen, I promised you guys some practical applications, including my boy Scott Simons over there. I promised you some practical applications because, look, here's what we've done with this group, right? We've built this amazing group that's impacting lives. And so I'm going to use this group, and I'm also going to use Dan Cummins as an example. For those of you that don't know, I'm the general manager at Dan Cummins Chevrolet and Buick in Paris, Kentucky. It is currently the second largest used car franchise dealership in the country, and I'm on my way to working with my team to make it number one. Now, this store in 2011, we used to sell 120 cars a month. Now we can sell 1,000. We sold 1,000 in March. We used to sell 120. So we've grown this store in a population of 10,000. That's what's in our area, 10,000 people. There's another 250,000 people not too far away in Lexington, Kentucky. So people always are asking kind of what happened, kind of what we applied, how these things work, how these things, how we were able to make these changes. And it comes down to creating this team that was willing to make a movement. It comes down to two or more coming together with the same person. Purpose and inserting God and lifting each other up to be able to get to the level that we're at now. So I wanted to share some of that with you guys. See, Josh and Dusty bought this door January 1st, 2011. And I'm sorry, but my man Tyler Haley just popped in. And I don't know where he is in the world because he's traveling all over. So I have to say good morning to Tyler Haley. But Josh and Dusty Cummins bought the store in 2011. I joined the store 11 days later. Okay, back then it was 120 cards a month. The, we play, We had like lawn tables and lawn chairs and wood paneling. The store was behind the times. The place was behind the times. His dad had done a great job, Josh and Dusty's dad, and, and their grandfather had done a great job of building a dealership that had been around 56 years, but it was somewhat stale and somewhat stagnant. Now, here we are six years later, sorry, seven years later, and we're selling 1,000 cars a month, right? 1,000 cars a month. So how did this happen? How do you build that? How do you build something like Rise and Grind? How do you build something like community within your company? How do you build something like community within your family? How can you build something like company where while branding yourself on social media? And here's some of the tips that I'm going to share with you today so that you can do some of these things. So you can make moves like this group has, which, by the way, this group's only been around four months. And you can make some moves like Dan Cummins has. First and foremost is I'm going to need you to be a servant leader. Scott Simons is powerful at this. I need you to be a servant leader. So if you notice here on the Rise and Grind, for example, and part of being a servant leader means that people can, can count on you. They can rely on you to help them, to encourage them, to lift them up. You are going to serve them. So at Dan Cummins, Josh and Dusty Cummins and myself and my other leaders, we do everything in our power to be servant leaders, to serve the people that work for and around us. We, Our goal and our heart and our mind is on service. How can I help? How can I encourage? How can I lift people up? Now, that's the same thing with Rise and Grind, right? We're serving others. We're encouraging others. We're lifting others up. Up. If you want to create your own movement and make your own change, then you have to become a servant leader. That's the first thing. The second thing that I'm going to tell you, whether you're, whether you're running your company or whether you're running your group or anything like that, you have to train the people around you, your families, whatever. You got to train them on life skills and not just job skills. 
life skills, not just job skills. Yesterday at Dan Cummins, the first thing we did is I had my team while we were in the training room. We came together. We wrote down everything we were thankful for, and we wrote down all of our goals. We did that together as a team. That's a life skill. That's not just a job skill. I'm not just throwing sales videos in front of them. We're teaching them life skills. Same thing in the group, Rise and Grind. We're learning life skills together. Now, here's another thing. You yourself have to train on life skills, not just job skills. Make sure you're getting some audio books. Make sure you're listening to some great podcasts. Make sure you're learning different ways to change your life. As the leader, as the servant leader, you too have to train on these different skills, not just the people around you. The third thing that you need to do, and Scott, they believe, Scott, you do a pretty darn good job at this, and I think you should probably do better. And some of you guys, other people that are in the auto industry or own your own companies or anything like that, this one's incredibly important. You need to build a family within your walls. You have to build a family within your walls. See, family is synonymous with safe. When people are with their family, they feel safe. They don't feel like the, you know, they're on the edge. Most people don't get kicked out of their family. Most people can make mistakes and still be loved and cared for within their families. So you got to build a family within your walls. Make people feel safe. Treat them like family. I love you guys. I tell you guys every day that I love you guys, and I truly, truly mean it. And I tell you to bring, bring your bads, bring your faults, bring your mistakes, bring all that stuff to me, and let's work through it together. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to blast you out of the group. I'm not going to do anything like that. So you guys feel safe in here, and that's what helps build this thing up. Apply the same things in your families. Apply the same things in your companies. Apply the same things as you're building your brand. Build it as a family. Treat it as a family. Build a family within those walls. Next thing you need to do if you want to build things up, you want to continue to, to build your brand, build your business, uh, better in your relationally, things like that, is you have to walk the walk, people. You have to walk the walk. You cannot ask people to do things and not be willing to do them yourself. You just can't. You have to walk the walk. This month at Dan Cummins, I have challenged all of my leadership, including myself, to sell cars. Not just desk deals, not finance deals, but to generate a lead, to go out and talk to the customer, to show them a vehicle, to sit down with them and go over numbers, and to sell cars just like we used to. I've challenged them all. What they don't realize is I'm going to kick their butt at this because I'm super competitive. So, for example, yesterday, check it out. This is Alex. Alex reached out to me on Facebook. She needed a car. So we sat down. I got her credit at. She came into the store. We sat down last night. She was afraid that she wouldn't be able to get something. She was concerned that she might not be able to trade out of her vehicle. So we sat down and we made it work. And not only did we make it work, but I put her in a brand new stinking cruise. She came in looking at used cars and I put her in a brand spanking new one. Because that's what I do. Josh Cummins was sitting in there talking with customers yesterday. He's walking the walk. My other leaders are generating leads. You have to walk the walk, people. You can't sit on your perch and just tell people what to do. Get in there and do it. I'm not here on Rise and Grind telling you guys to get up early while I'm sleeping in. I'm not telling you to write down your gratitude list and your goals while I'm not doing it myself. I'm not telling you to change and, and, and uh, attack and, and post and comment and share. I'm not asking you to do it if I'm not doing it myself. Walk the walk, people. <clears throat> walk the walk. Last thing I'm going to tell you, and we're going to run out of time, but the last thing is I need you to make sure that, that you're add, you add value to everyone around you. Add value to everyone around you, including your community. If you own a business, add value to your community. If you don't own a business, you're just in a business, add value to everyone around you. Add value to every single customer you talk to. Add value to every employee that you work with. Add value to your spouse. Add value to your relationship. Add value. Give more than you take. Give more than you take. If that's the only thing you get from today's video add value you guys i'm gonna have to cut this last part short because i've got to get out of here i got to get to the gym because i got to take care of my body because i'm telling you guys to take care of your body 
So I got to take care of my body, right? I got to walk the walk. Listen, you too can create your own movement. You can create your own movement in your own life. You can create your own movement as far as your personal brand. You can create your own movement on social media with a group or something like that. You can create a movement within your organization. You can create a movement within your church. You can create a movement wherever it is. You need to create a movement to make an impact on this planet. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. If you do some of these things, and there's a lot more, you got to hold yourself accountable. You got to be there every day. People got to be able to rely on you, but be a servant leader. Train people on life skills, including yourself, not just job skills. Create a winning environment that's encouraging where people can achieve their goals. Create a winning environment. Build a family that's safe. Walk the walk and add value to everyone around you. Insert God into the middle of it because when you pull two or more together, In his name, that's when crazy stuff happens. Insert God in the middle. You too can create a movement. Continue to share these, please. Continue to invite people to the group, please. Continue to go to glennlundy.com. Get your Rise and Grind gear. Get your tickets to the hashtag Rise and Grind event that's going on August 12th. Please continue to comment in the group. Continue to add value into people's lives because you are making a difference on this planet. Do you hear me today? And I am telling you, you are amazing. You are incredible. Incredible! You are this powerful being that was uniquely made by God himself to be the absolute best version of you that you can be. And you are doing it because every single day you are choosing to be a member of this elite group of people that rise and grind. And I, for one, absolutely love you for it. If nobody's told you that today, I stinking love you. I want to be the first. Thank you for being a part of Rise and Grind. Thank you for everything that you do. Share the feed and come back and see me again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. as we hashtag Rise and Grind.